I got a grade nine in GCSE chemistry, and this is exactly how you're going to revise if you want to get that grade as well. I know that your attention span is fried, so make sure you save this video for later. But if you do, just take one thing from this video, I want it to be this. You absolutely need to be using flashcards. You need to be doing many, many, many practice papers, and you need to understand how you answer all of the different types of six mark questions. I have an entire video about GCSE chemistry exam techniques, so make sure you check my playlists for that. But step number one, yes, you need to remember a lot in this GCSE. There is a lot of content in chemistry, and you simply can't cover it all in class at once. You need to be doing this spaced repetition and active retrieval of information that you did previously. It needs to be fresh in your mind and you need to understand how the different topics link together so that you can answer an exam question. They will give you a scenario in the exam and ask you many different questions about it from different topics. And by using this spaced repetition approach, you will also understand how topics link together. You need to constantly be asking why so that you can develop this conceptual understanding. I kind of struggled in chemistry until exam season because I really didn't have this. I also didn't have a chemistry teacher in year 11, so that probably didn't help. For example, you need to understand why you're doing calculations. I never really understood what a mole was and I really struggled with that because only then will you be able to answer those extended answer questions where you have to explain something rather than just define it. If I had a test or something, I would print out the spec, get it in front of me and literally just explain everything, every spec point as it came up everything it related to, how you would answer a question on it. And I would explain it out loud, this variation of the Feynman technique, but this laser focus, because you're using the specification as guidance. And remember, the specification doesn't give you the answers. It just says, student will be able to explain what electrolysis is. YouTube is your best friend in chemistry. Like I just said, I didn't have a chemistry teacher. I needed to watch free science lessons and Cognito to pull me through. And there are so many other YouTubers that are really helpful and that will describe something in a slightly different way to your teacher. And sometimes that's all you need. Mind maps. I really enjoyed summarizing an entire topic in just a few words. Of course, you miss out the details and the nuances, but you don't need that when you're just creating this overall summary. This can help you with your conceptual understanding and understanding how the subtopics link together. And once again, I cannot reiterate this enough. You need to be doing exam questions. You need to be doing exam questions on topics you're not currently doing in class because this tests your ability to answer the exam and it's active recall. If you like this video and you found it helpful, be sure to save it for later and follow for more daily GCSE tests for every single one of your subjects.